Next, I'm gonna talk about how to get free estimated search volume data into the software. Now, as I've mentioned before, these uh, P PAA questions, that people also ask questions, are very long tail keywords. So they will usually register with zero search volume pretty much in all the different search volume tools out there. But it doesn't mean that they don't get traffic. They actually do get traffic, a lot of them, because there's like 15 million brand new searches every day on Google that will not register in all those tools. But that's okay. Sometimes it's still kind of nice to you know, have a little bit of an idea of what people are searching for a little bit, even if it's low volume, then you can target a whole bunch of those questions and concentrate your, your, your trees around your content, kind of around those questions and just keep building up more traffic coming to your, your content. So let me show you how to get the free. So I'm just gonna go ahead and load a previously saved file here. Let's load that I think there's a puppy training one there load that one we got 118 oh I think the other one was bigger let's open that one 229 questions okay and so it's as easy as this all you have to do is click the search volume and you see estimated uh, search volume data and you can um, get the estimated data for the selected questions selected means the ones that have the checkbox selected like that or you can get them for all the questions or for the ones that haven't been extracted yet. So anyways, you just go ahead and I'll just select all. And then you'll see over here, it's starting to extract the data here. Now, if I just move this over a little bit so I can see, just one second here. There we go. And so I do want to explain that this data is not real data. It is 100% estimated. I found a, an online API that provides this using some sort of um, built-in algorithm that analyzes the keyword. And it also does some process of analyzing the um, auto-suggest um, keywords that this main keyword creates. It's kind of complex, but so I want to say, you know, take this with a grain of salt. These are not real, um, but they give you, I would say, an idea. So it kind of points you in the right direction kind of, of like where you can concentrate your marketing on or making more question trees kind of around it. So with that said, you know, just use this. Don't believe in the data 100%. It is completely estimated. But I wanted an extra tool in here for you guys to utilize some sort of guidance, you know, just not like a lot of people really want to get monthly search volume information about this. But you do have to realize it's always going to be very low, even if you use the Google um, keyword planner, they're going to report as low search volume, but it doesn't mean you're not going to get any traffic. I've seen other videos on YouTube where people are using basically zero volume keywords and getting upwards of 3,000 to 6,000 clicks a month on those keywords, those long tail keywords. People do search for them. And just because those keyword search volume tools out there are not registering it, it doesn't mean that they're not being searched for. Because like I said, there's like millions and millions of searches every month, every day that are brand new. Plus, you got to remember that Google is telling you that people also ask this question. So we know for a fact that people are actually searching for these questions. So we'll just let it continue going on here for a bit. So it's only gone through 131. So it does take a bit to get through them all. All right, I paused for a little bit, just got back here. And um, so the obvious big advantage of this is it's unlimited. You know, you're not gonna be limited to number of searches per month or something like that. You can do as much as you want. So now we can see that it's just about done here. And once it's done, you can, you can sort and you can filter and stuff like that. If you wanna see stuff over 10, 250, there wasn't any. But now you can concentrate on Say, for example, that keyword, which dog knows 40 commands, like some of these would, could possibly have higher search volume and you can concentrate on there. So it's sort of like a, a guide. Now you can also do that inside of the insight generator. So there's a whole bunch of keywords in here. So again, you hit the search volume. I'm gonna see it in view here and then search volume for all. And it'll automatically go and let's say up here you pause, you stop the process, and if you go here, 
you can go I want to just get the ones that are not extracted I don't want to re-extract them again so we'll just go over here and start where it left off so you'll see some bigger search volumes come in here because some of these are not as long tail but again remember I keep saying this but it's just estimated it's not real real data it's some sort of computer algorithm estimating it and it must be an okay algorithm because um, they do sell a paid version of it in Rapid API. So um, anyways, I found a free source that we can use it unlimited in the software. So I did pay for that unlimited access. So everyone here will be able to use it as much as they want. And it's just going to be another guideline for you to utilize the software. And one big advantage of this, and I'll show obviously in another video, but now that you have the CPC and um, monthly searches and that, if you send all of this over to the groupings tool, which will be in another video, you will also have the total search volume for each group and also the average CPC in competition. But I would recommend to try to use the other options. So there is, you can import from Google Keyword Planner and searchvolume.io, which will be better estimates or the Keywords Everywhere tool. If you have a paid account with Keywords Everywhere, I recommend using that as well. So you'll get some better, more accurate estimations, but if you don't wanna go that route, there is this um, algorithm, estimated traffic that you can use. That's basically how you can use the, and get free estimated search volume, which is completely unlimited.